of the Moran family. So today's video is a really exciting one. I'm going to be sharing my girls' boo baskets with you guys. If you don't know what boo baskets are, they're basically like Easter baskets, but for Halloween. So lots of like goodies and treats, pumpkin things. As always, links to everything will be down below in the description. So make sure you guys check that out. But let's go ahead and jump into it. So I think I'll start youngest to oldest. So if you're new here, I do have three girls. So I have three baskets to share with you guys. One for Jade, who is almost a year old, and then Aurora, she'll almost be four, and then Layla is going on eight. So this basket is Jade's. Like I said, she is almost a year old. These baskets are my favorite. These are from Target. I was super excited to see that they brought them back this year because I picked up the third one since last year. I didn't make one for Jade because my due date was actually the day before Halloween. So I didn't make Jade a boo basket, so this is my first year making one for her so this is what hers looks like so her basket says trick or treat on it and then it has like a bunch of candy in the inside and what i really love about these baskets is they have like a wiring in the inside so it always stays open like it doesn't collapse or anything like that so i just love these so the first thing that i got her are some puffs these are by the brand serenity kids these are grain free, they're gluten free, and then they just have like a lot of good things in here. I've never tried this brand, but I figured I would give them a go because their ingredients seem to be really clean. Like they have pumpkin powder in here, um, rosemary extract, cinnamon, nutmeg, clove. The ingredients just seem to be really good, so that's why I wanted to try these. These are in the flavor pumpkin and cinnamon, so I thought it would be perfect for her treat since she can't have any candy yet next i got these little like pumpkins the girls also have these in their baskets but they're filled with treats since jade is almost a year old like i said hers don't have anything in here but i figured she can just play with these so these are just empty but these do open up they're kind of like um like easter eggs but pumpkin shaped I also got her a book that is one thing that's like probably my number one thing that I always put in baskets that I make the girls books. So here is Jade's. This one is Five Black Cats. I got her the board book because she seems to be really into books lately. She's always like grabbing them. We have a bookshelf in our playroom and she always grabs books off of there, but she happens to rip some of them, especially if they're pages. So. I got her a board book so we could avoid that. This one had a lot of good reviews. I got this off of Amazon. It looks really cute. So just a Halloween themed book for her. Next, I got her some PJs. This is a two piece set. So it comes with the long sleeve shirt and then the bottoms, they're just gray. And then they have ghosts all over. I also picked these up for everybody else in our family. So I grabbed one for myself. Also, my husband, my other girls, and then I also got one for Finn, our dog. So I plan on taking like a Halloween um, picture of us in our like jammies. I also got her this poppet. I'm gonna just have to watch her with this because she does um, put things in her mouth. But the girls have um, like rainbow ones that I got them a while back, and Jade is always trying to steal it because she thinks it's so fun to like pop these. So I got her one too. I got this off of Amazon. The size is really good. Like here's my hand for comparison. And I have like giant hands too. So the size is really good. It is pumpkin shaped and this does glow in the dark too. So I thought that was really cool. I also got her some Halloween socks, but I think these are way too big for her. I didn't see any baby sizing socks. So I just grabbed these. I'll just probably have to like store these and put them away. They were only a dollar, so I couldn't pass it up, so I just grabbed them. These are from Target. This is like their little dollar section. So it has a pumpkin on here, and then it says, smell my feet on one side, and then the other side says, trick or treat. So it says, trick or treat, smell my feet, you know, the little like saying. And then I also got her a outfit. This one was also from Target. How? cute is this little jumpsuit so it's in like this um like mauve color and then it has the flutter sleeve shoulders i think this will be really cute if she wears this to like the pumpkin patch because it has little pumpkins all over it 
it does not have the little feet attached just so you know so that is her little outfit that i got her the last thing that i got her and i'm so excited for her to wear these i think they're a little too big right now but i bought them anyways that way she can match the girls because i did get these for the girls too and then we also have our annual family cabin trip planned for the beginning of this coming year so whenever we do go to that there should be snow so i figured she can wear these if they fit her how cute are these little booties they kind of remind me of like little doc martens but these were a steal i want to say these were like 15 dollars and doc martens are like 70 plus dollars so totally a steal how cute so they're just black booties they have like the brown bottom they seem to be really sturdy but they're also lightweight so they're not going to be super heavy which is a good thing for um, new walkers. Jade isn't walking yet, but she probably will be soon. And then they are lined in the inside with fur, which will be perfect. Boots are another thing that I always put in the Halloween baskets, just because they can wear them like all throughout fall and winter. So that is everything that I got Jade. So that is Jade's basket. Next, I will show you guys Aurora's basket. Aurora is almost four. She'll be four in December. So here's what Aurora's basket looks like. So the first thing that's in here is a blanket. This is from that Hide and Eek boutique at Target. This was $10. I always grab their seasonal blankets. They're just so good. They're only $10. The quality is amazing. They don't ever shed, but they're just super soft. They hold up great when you wash them. So highly recommend the seasonal throw blankets from Target. Rory's is black and then it has orange pumpkins all over. So that's her blanket. I also got her the same exact booties that I got Jade. So just the same ones. I also got her the same PJs, so the gray PJs with ghosts on them. I have these little like rubber fidget toys. I think these are just so fun. These came in a huge pack too, so I'm going to throw the rest of them in our prize box because I do have a prize box in our homeschool room. And then whenever the girls like did something like nice during the week or if they were just like on really good behavior, if I saw them do like an act of kindness, or if they did really good with school, just whatever the case may be, I let them go inside the prize box. So I will throw the rest of them in here because it came with like 25, something like that. So it was a pretty decent size pack. I got these off of Amazon. I only put two in here. So this one is pink. It has a pumpkin on it. And then this one is purple and it has a bat on it. So it has like the bat's face and then the bat's wings down here. I also got her a poppet too, but hers is pink and it's ghost shaped. I believe this one also glows in the dark too. I got her some bubbles. These were in the dollar section at Target. So I wanna say this was like a dollar too. So she actually chose this out too whenever we went to Target, but I think she forgot about these cause I kind of just like hid them away in our closet because I knew I wanted to put them in their boo baskets. So it's just a bubble wand and it has a witch hat on the end. I got her a craft. She also picked this one out too, but I was saving it for her boo basket. They had a ton of these at Target, really cute ones. They had like a witch. They had um, a few different variations of pumpkins with like different faces on it. They had like a skull, they had a ghost but she chose the plain pumpkin because she said she wanted to draw on her own face so she got that that's another thing that i like putting in the girls basket is a craft for them to do i got her some squishies these were also from target i got these last year too and these were also in the girls' boo baskets but they're kind of like ripping now so i bought them again because they really love these these were five dollars again this was the hide and eek boutique it comes in a three pack, so it comes with a skeleton, a pumpkin, and then a cat. They're just like little squishies. The girls love those. And then I put three of those pumpkins in here, but there are fruit snacks in here. These are the Welch's fruit snacks. 
but they are um, Halloween themed. So there's like a pumpkin in here, um, a ghost, a witch, a haunted house. So there's just three of those. I also threw in two lollipops in here. These were from Target. These are so good, you guys. We tried them already and they taste super yummy. These are the brand Yum Earth. I also got her a pair of socks too. Again, this was like the dollar section at Target, so they were just a dollar. Hers are pink, they say boo yeah, and then they have stars and ghosts on them. I got her this little highlights book. Who remembers highlights? I used to love these as a kid, especially whenever like my mom took me to the doctor's office and they had like highlights magazines. Loved those, they're just super fun because there's like a bunch of like stickers in here, coloring things, um, like puzzles and games. So super fun, I got these off of Amazon. So it comes with um, puffy, oh, they're stuck in here, I don't wanna take them out. But it comes with puffy Halloween stickers. And then again, it just has like mazes and puzzles, coloring things. So I figured that can keep her busy and she'll love that. I got her some window gel cleans. This was Hide and Eek Boutique. These were $2. I got her the pumpkin ones with stars and spiders. These are super fun. You just like put them on the window and they stick. So I figured the girls can decorate their window. Aurora's book is The Little Kitten. I think the illustrations on this book are super cute. This one also had really good reviews too. Next is a pumpkin bath bomb. I got this off of Etsy. It's just a pink pumpkin and it's really like decent size too. The girls are obsessed with bath bombs so I knew I wanted to throw one of those in here. This is um, Velvet Moon Studio is the shop name. This is their pumpkin souffle bath bomb. These also came in orange too, but I thought the pink one was just a fun color, so I got that. I also got her a bracelet, and this was a customized thing because it does have her name. This was also from Etsy, but this was from a different shop. The shop name is Shop Rainbow Mermaid. So here's what it looks like. Super cute. It has a little ghost on it, and then it has her name on it. And I wanna say this was like $5. The girls are really into jewelry and beads lately, so I got her that. And that is actually everything in Aurora's basket. So now I'm gonna move on to Layla's basket. So here is Layla's basket. Hers is a black cat. Hers does not have a blanket in here, but I did get her one, but she is recovering from appendicitis surgery so she already has her blanket because we wanted her to be as cozy as possible since she is in bed most of the time resting so she already has her blanket her blanket is black and then i believe it says trick-or-treat on it. it has a bunch of like candy on it so that is her blanket she also has ghost pjs in here she has a poppet too but hers is pink and it's a pumpkin again it glows in the dark she has the same squishies in here that aurora has she also has two lollipops in here and then she has those three pumpkins that have fruit snacks i also got her some of those like stretchy fidget toys i'm not sure why she has four in here she should only have two in here so I might just throw one in Aurora's, that way they each have three. I guess I will give Aurora this one. So again, they're just those stretchy like fidget toys. She also has one of those wooden um, figures so we can paint them. She chose the ghost one. She also has a pumpkin bath bomb in here. And then I also got her a bracelet too from that same shop the rainbow mermaid on etsy but layla's is a little bit different so aurora's had a ghost on it but layla's has a bat on it and then it has her name i got her some socks hers are different 
Hers are pink and then it says I put a spell on you and then it has like some potion bottles and some bugs on there. She also got a bubble wand but hers have skulls on the top. I also got her the highlights book that has a ton of activities. And then I also got her some boots too but hers are different because I couldn't find her size in the boots that I got Aurora and Jade but hers are pretty much like the same too. They're just like black ankle booties. And then hers kind of have like um, this detailing right here that have sparkles. And these are the Cat and Jack line at Target. These were $24.99, so a little bit more pricier than the other booties that I got, Rory and Jade, but I didn't want her to feel left out, so I tried to find boots that were as similar as possible. I also got her the same gel clings that I got Aurora. These came in a ton of different prints. I believe there was like witch ones and ghost ones, skull ones, but I figured I would just keep it safe, get the same ones, that way there's no like arguing over the gel clings. Mom life. The book that I got Layla is Mother Ghost. It's nursery rhymes for little monsters. This one had really good reviews too. I figured it would be a fun little book for all of us to read. Here's what the illustrations look like. So that is everything in Layla's Boo Basket. That's my girls' Boo Baskets for the year 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun putting these together. Don't forget to check out the description down below so you guys can get links to everything. But as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family. And make sure you hit that bell that way you guys always get notified every single time I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.